the cigarettes were? Cigarettes. Cigarettes. Them things on there. Yeah. Who are they for? He also doesn't seem to no. understand. No. Who? Oh, this one Sorry. Myself. The for yourself. Yeah, yes, I was. All them are for myself. For sell. To sell. Yeah. You're going to sell them. Yeah. Who to? Yeah. Who will you sell them to? It's a surprising admission and against the law. You don't know? The man's situation gets worse when Kevin discovers he works for the airline. If it's a crew, a crew member is yeah. classed as a privileged person. Yeah. Now, if they're carrying excess amounts of cigarettes, yeah. over a thousand, well, they'd be arrested and we could prosecute them for it. Right. Now, this guy's got for? nearly 10,000 cigarettes. Okay. Comes to light now that the passenger is a member of staff. He works in Karachi. And as such, he's on a staff ticket. He's classed as a privileged person, which means he has to be arrested and prosecuted. Kevin calls in the investigation team. David, just let one of them know we've got a prisoner over at T2. Crew with cigarettes. Nearly 10,000. So we just let them know we're going to have a prisoner in due course, but we're, they're going to need a translator. Um, we're about to do the arrest. We're just waiting for an Urdu speaking immigration officer to come down to facilitate that. Kevin's keen eyes picked out the smuggler, and as he works for the airline, the man may be losing his job. This smuggler, caught with 10,000 cigarettes, also works for an airline and is about to be arrested. We've had the translator explain to him exactly what's happened. He's, he's upset now because he, he's worked for the airline for 33 years. He thinks he now may be and, you know, about to lose his job but he's not only brought in nearly 10,000 cigarettes, which is admitted he's going to sell. It's an offence, you can't do that, unfortunately.